welcome back to the channel guys today is sunday and today i am going to work on the dollhouse you guys have been asking me for like dollhouse updates you want separate videos for the dollhouse i get it i'm gonna try my best to see if i can pull that off today i only have two things that i need to do i want to like paint and i want to work on the trim i still need to order furniture yo dollhouse furniture is not cheap especially if you want some good quality pieces. I wanna order things for the kitchen. Today, we're gonna to focus on paint and we're gonna focus on trim. Let's see how that goes. All right, so this is the room right here that I wanna paint. And I wanna paint it a dark color. Um, as you can see, I've been painting the stairs. So I need to finish that today. And then also down here, here's the kitchen. I wanna add trim down here as well. I'm gonna eat first. Oh my gosh, look at the salad. It's amazing, this is from Hooters. It has grilled chicken. Oh, it's so good. Mm, really good today because I'm greedy. <laughs> I got some shrimp and fries. And this is all for me. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Look at the shrimp. dinner together as a family. Robin left around 9 or 9.30. Adam and I were home all night. Why are you asking me about this now? She cheated on you. I must have stung. We never really cleared that up, did we? First of all, who who did this? Yo, this part right here has been very, very difficult. This is what I'm saying when I tell you that this shit takes time. It's it's unbelievable the stuff that you run into. Does she know you have this car? She does. And what is your name? 
with Michael Desiato. Woo, that was seriously hard. <laughs> take a look at all of the little pieces that I had to take apart. This is what was on the window. You know, this was way harder than what I thought. I mean, I thought it was going to be like this. I thought it was just like this. But they were like little pieces that were like scrunched together. And then you have this little piece right here that they were attached to. So it made it pretty difficult to take off the wall. But managed to do it. And so now I'm going to do something that... <sighs> I don't know I'm, I'm curious to see how this turns out this is the same paint that I used in my office this is called dark room I'm gonna use it in the dollhouse I want a dark room but I don't want a black room so I figured let's just use the same paint and see how that comes out shall we I want new curtains for the dollhouse and I figured out a way to kind of make some. So I got some, um, I have an actual like napkin. It has like a little lace at the bottom. So I cut it. This is like one napkin that I cut into like six pieces. I hope it comes out okay. <laughs> iron this down so that it would be a lot easier to um it would be a lot easier to kind of like crease and you know keep it make sure it's like fold down i guess i could put like a little pin in it i might do that too let's put like a little pin to keep it in place okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of fold it a little bit like how a curtain would be if it was like on a rod and i want it to kind of be gathered at the top so that's what i'm gonna do just like that So here we go. That's that. It's done. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. So this is fabric tape. This right here. Um, if you put this on your walls, the possibility of the paint coming off is, is high possibility that that will happen. <laughs> I learned the hard way when I used this on my walls to put the bats on there. Yes, the bats stayed. The bats stayed on the wall, but also the paint came off the wall with the bats so just keep that in mind um but i am going to put this on the wall of the dollhouse 
Okay, so I have one that's up. Go ahead and put this way over here, like so, all the way at the top, right? Just like that. Then I'm going to peel it off, but I need two hands, so let me put you guys down. Okay, so I've peeled it off. Now I'm going to put this curtain up. Okay, that's right here. If you can't tell, I'm tired. It's Monday, yo, and I'm like, I'm really, I'm struggling right now because I'm sleepy. It's almost eight o'clock. I went to bed late. Now I'm getting ready to sew some sheets, Halloween sheets. So I think I remember how to do this. This should be fairly easy. No, I was kidding about actually recording this. <laughs> such a proud moment it's such a proud moment i'd love the fact that you're cooking for me thank you you're gonna do the same for me yeah this is what it's all about you know what i'm saying as you get older and stuff you know you cook for your mom and dad sometimes i do be cooking for y'all girl when i have not, I just, I have not received pasta. any food yet i'll be making some pasta you know oh yeah that's true you do make pasta let's turn this down you can turn it off actually like, you know, another two-thirds. Yeah, another two-thirds. Half of that. Here's the, like the little mattress that we're going to use. So what I want to do is, let's measure the mattress, right? About six and a half. And then, like, three and a half. So we have three pieces, right? Okay, we have I feel like I didn't do something right, but we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I swear I'm just gonna roll with it. It's not gonna fit. It's not going to fit. It's not gonna fit, is it? It's not gonna fit. It's it's not the right size. Oh man, what did I not do? It's not gonna fit. It's too. Wait a minute. It might fit. So almost. It's like that much, too much. Maybe I can just. I might have to fix this. This much, too much, a little too much, like this.
just like that. Right, here's our second attempt. This should work. It should be nice and snug. Is perfect. This is perfect. Check that out. That's perfect. So happy. All right, so for right now, I am finished with her room. You know, I might add a little bit more to it, but it's not gonna be tonight. <laughs>